like Carpentry Addicts, you are again in your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. Let's go to prepare the material of our project. pieces of wood, two pieces for the legs, one piece for the top of our bench and this piece is very important because it supports the structure of our project. To give our wood a better finish I'm going to use a very rotor bit like the one you see here. The bearing of this router bit will allow us to travel all the edges of all the parts of our bench. It's important when placing the bit in the router to set the proper height to create a nice rounded edge on our wooden bench. First we are going to work these two edges of the central crossbar because when the bench is armed we will not have access to this part of the bench with our router. Here you can get a closer look at the rounded edges produced with this router bit. Before assembling any woodworking project, it's good to plan how we will assemble the pieces. The seat piece will have the cross piece attached in the middle of the bench and both legs will be attached to the sides of the cross piece. The legs and crossbar will be bolted to the top piece. For all the joints we will use glue and screws. The screws will be inside the first wood. For that we are going to use a countersink bit to hide the screws. It is important to use long screws to increase the grip on the second piece of wood. We are going to hide the screw using a cover that we will make with a wooden cylinder with the same diameter as the hole that we will make with our countersink bit. These are the wooden plugs that we will use to cover the screw heads. start by joining one of the legs to the central crossbar. For this connection I recommend using two and a half long screws. We are going to start joining all the pieces of our project using screws, but don't forget to apply white glue to make the joint stronger.
you can see the good finish on all the rounded edges of our bench. Using the proper router bit, this job is done much better than if you just finish off the edges using sandpaper. Now you can give this wooden bench the finish you want, applying wax, sealer, wood paint or varnish. I hope you like the bench we made with only 4 pieces of wood. Enter now on patreon.com slash Domingo Freire to acquire your membership so that I can make more and better videos for you. I am Domingo Freire, remember to click on like, share and comment this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye Carpentry Addict and I will see you in my next video.